Hello everyone, in today's session we will see that how to install and register GitLab runner in Docker. For this purpose I have list down steps that we will see in practical. To create these steps I have utilized these two URLs. Let's see the steps one by one. The very first step is to install the docker so this is the very basic requirement next step is to install the gitlab runner now here meaning of installing gitlab runner means we need to pull the gitlab runner image in our docker hub in our docker repository so whenever you are going to run this particular command very first time if the gitlab runner image is not there in your docker hub docker repository in that case docker will first pull the GitLab runner image and then only it will start this container. So over here before we execute this command we need to create a volume and then map it with docker instance docker container. The reason to create a volume is we need to make sure that the configuration is not lost when the container is restarted and for this purpose we need to create a volume. Again there are two ways to map the volume one is either we provide the absolute path like this for windows and like this for linux and another way is we can create a volume using this particular command docker volume create and then we map it with docker container in case if you want to provide an absolute path it's also fine for that purpose you can create any folder at any location in my case on windows i have created this particular folder in this location then this config will remain same will remain constant and we don't need to change anything over here same way on linux i have created this particular folder docker underscore volume on this path to map this folder as a volume with docker container again this config remains same constant we don't need to change anything over here so over here this dash d means in detached mode dash dash name gitlab dash runner it means that i want to run gitlab dash runner image in a container providing the name as gitlab runner okay i will repeat again we will run gitlab runner image in a container named as gitlab runner dash dash restart always means if the docker container has been stopped due to any reason then restart it automatically always dash v means i want to map host folder host directory to the docker container location so in my case i want to map in case of windows this particular path and config file with this etc gitlab runner configuration file of docker so this is my windows path and this is my docker container path so on linux based system uh, you might be familiar that we will have this configuration file under this etc gitlab runner path so we want to map this gitlab runner file with this path on windows on this config file then again i need to map volume having this path on windows with this docker.sock means docker socket file with docker containers socket file and then finally i want to execute i want to run this image of gitlab runner in a container this was for windows same way on linux we need to mount two volumes when we start gitlab runner image in a container this two volume mounting will be first will be configuration file mapping and second one will be socket file mapping so in that case uh, in my case i am going to map this particular path with this config file with docker containers it is a gitlab runner file same way this particular path with docker.sock file with docker containers where run docker.sock file and then finally i want to run gitlab runner image in a container second step uh, and within that second step we have this or option means we want to create a volume so we will create a volume called a gitlab runner config so you can provide any name over here it is not mandatory to provide this gitlab runner config name then you can run the gitlab runner image using this command docker run all the options will remain same as it is the only difference will be instead of absolute path for the configuration file now we are going to provide the volume that we have created for the configuration okay 
then uh, for socket file the path the absolute path will remain as it is we don't need to provide the volume that we have created earlier so over here we need to provide the absolute path as it is and then finally we need to run the gitlab runner image then once we have started the gitlab runner image in a container called gitlab runner now we are ready to execute any gitlab runner commands so the very first command that we need to execute is registering the gitlab runner with any supported executor so for that on windows uh, again if you have if you want to provide the absolute path then you need to execute this command and if you want to provide the volume that you have created in that case you can provide this particular command okay and one thing that i forgot to mention that once you have created a volume on windows it will be available on this particular location called wsl so this location will be available on your windows system only after if you have installed docker so when you are going to install the docker on your windows os this path will be automatically created and when you create a volume that volume will be available on this path okay so then uh, using this command you need to register the gitlab runner one thing that you notice that now once we have started the docker gitlab runner image in a container then whatever the command you need to utilize in all those command you don't need to mention socket file okay so you just need to mention this configuration file path only finally once you have registered the gitlab runner you can um, use any any command of gitlab runner using this command like docker run dash dash remove it dash v and gitlab runner and then whatever the gitlab runner command you want to execute over here dash dash remove means remove the container once it has been executed successfully dash it means interactive dash v means we want to map the volume configuration volume only we don't need to provide the socket file volume and we want to execute this gitlab runner image and uh, we want to uh, execute help option of gitlab runner finally if you want to stop and remove the container then the command is docker stop container name or container id and then docker remove container name or container id so as we have provided container name as gitlab runner we are going to provide the name gitlab runner over here now let's see it in practical so first of all i will confirm whether the docker has been installed or not so for that i will utilize this command so as i have got the version it means that docker has been installed second step is i need to create a volume so either i need to provide an absolute path or need to create a volume so for that purpose i am going to use this or section of second step and i will create this particular volume so sudo docker volume create gitlab runner config okay so now if we execute this command sudo docker volume list so it will list down all the volumes available on the system now if you want to know that what is the path on which this volume has been created so for that sudo docker volume inspect and then name of the volume okay so you can see that uh, the path for this particular volume is this so let's uh, list down what are the volumes available under this path sudo ls volumes and you can see that we have got all the volumes that we have got using this docker volume list so all these volumes are available on this where lib docker volumes path once we have created this volume the next step is to start to run docker gitlab runner image in a container so i will execute this command with this sudo okay and as you can see that it has given me the message that unable to sorry unable to find image called gitlab runner locally so now it will start to pull that gitlab runner image locally let's wait for a few minutes till it pull the image once the gitlab runner image has been pulled successfully now we can confirm that the gitlab runner image is running in a container called gitlab runner so let's see that sudo docker ps a and it will list down all the containers running on the system so you can see that this is the id of the container and this is the name of the container okay so then next thing is register the gitlab runner so i will execute this command again as i have created a volume i will go with this option in case you want to provide the absolute path you need to go with any of these 
options so i will copy this command and sudo okay so now i need to enter the gitlab instance url so for that i will go to this uh, gitlab repository gitlab dashboard of my then we'll go to this project test then settings cicd over here expand this section runners and then i will copy this url provide it over here registration token so i will copy this token and provide it over here then enter a description for the runner so docker testing okay the tag all this again docker linux paste and then uh, the executor that i want to register with this so for this i am going to go with shell executor okay runner registered successfully you can see that the configuration file that is config.tuml file has been created and served successfully on this particular location so this is the location of all the volumes this is the default path for all the volumes those are being created by docker okay so on this volumes path this is the volume that we have created then underscore data and this config.tuml so if you see that these are the files available under this directory and then this is the config.tuml file that has been generated and saved on this location when we have registered gitlab runner inside docker now what we can do is uh, let's say if i want to run any other command like help so for that i am going to use this command sudo okay and then it will provide me all the help options and all the options that i can utilize with this gitlab runner command okay so you can see that all the help options are showing on the screen so let's say if i want to say status so again i am going to use the same command status okay so right now it's uh working fine 4.510 and then service is not installed once we have successfully registered gitlab runner with appropriate executor in docker on this dashboard on this page you can see that it's showing as a green you can see the message that runner is online last contact was three minutes ago so the gitlab runner is running successfully inside the docker and it is ready for any cicd pipeline okay so actually the gitlab runner is running uh, on this system on this docker container uh, and the reason that why we are uh, getting this error that i am yet not sure but yeah i will try to debug it that why exactly this error is uh, throwing from docker but yeah uh, we have successfully installed and registered gitlab runner in docker all the urls and this steps file are available on gitlab i will provide the url of it as well in the description box that's it for the day thank you everyone for watching this video